everyone, this is Mrs. Pittman here. Today we are going to be learning about the artist Keith Haring. Keith Haring is an American artist and he practiced making art during the pop art movement. He was born in 1958 and he lived until 1990. He would make his art on subways. And by doing this, everybody and anybody can watch him make his art. And he liked this about making art on subways. He would use simplistic shapes line and color and pattern to create his artworks. He would often like to talk about things like his community, things that he found was important in his artwork. So today we are going to be creating something in the style of Keith Haring. Our artwork is going to be about something that we like to do or something we like to do in our community or in our hometown. To do this project, we will need one sheet of paper and something to color with. I'm going to use markers and crayons in this video, but you can use whatever you have available to you. You'll also need a pencil. So our first step is to decide what we want our people to do. Here's my example. I have three figures dancing, three, but you can do one to five figures. You don't have to do dancing figures. That's just the thing that I like to do. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pencil and you're going to divide your paper in half by drawing a line. Now that we have our line drawn, we're going to begin to draw our figures. Now to create our people, we are just going to draw simple stick figures, but doing the action you want them to do. So I'm drawing my stick figures and for this one, I think I'm going to have them playing soccer. And I'm drawing two, but remember you can draw one to five people. Now, I didn't really like how I drew the head of my stick figure on the left, so I'm just gonna erase it and redraw it. Now that we have our figures drawn, now we're going to get a black marker, crayon, or pencil. And we're going to outline around our people. Now we're not doing the actual head, as you can see, we're not going to just do the actual circle, but we're going around it, making like a bubble. We're just going around our person, making like a bubble person around our stick figure. And you're gonna do this for all of your figures. And you're also going to outline any other important details in your drawing. For example, since they are playing soccer, I'll need to outline the soccer ball. And then I'll also do the background. Just going to outline that line that I did in the middle, but I'm not going to go through my people. When I get to my people, I will stop and then start back again on the other side. I also added just a little bit of grass because they're outside and I wanted to have that extra detail. So now what we're going to do is make lines to create motion. So I'm gonna do some lines above my person's head that are going out and that kind of acts like they're shocked or they're intrigued by something. And I'm also going to do that around my waist. I'm doing little wrinkle lines to create movement. It looks like their arms are shaking or their foot is slamming down. And I'm just doing this around my people. This shows that they are moving. Now that you have your lines drawn, grab a eraser. I have my pencil eraser and you're gonna erase the pencil lines from the inside, those stick figures that you drew. Now that it's erased, you can grab the colors that you wanna use and Keith Haring used bright, bold colors. So I'm going to color my people bright, bold colors. You should do the same. And they're all one color. There are no rhyme or reason to your color choices. Just pick whatever colors 
that you feel will make your drawing look the best. Add some more lines if you feel like your people are lacking some. And now that you're done with your people, start to do the background. But to do the background, we're going to use patterns. So I'm starting to do my sky one color. I'm painting, coloring it blue. And I'm using crayons for this, but you don't have to use crayons. Use whatever you have available to you. Once I have one color down, I'm gonna go back in and add some details to create pattern. So I'm just gonna repeat a shape over and over again. This is called repetition to create a pattern. As you can see, I'm just doing swirls over and over again to create my pattern, my repetitive pattern. Now I'm going to do the grass of my drawing. I'm going to do the same thing where I color it all one color and then come back in and add some extra details to create a pattern. Now, do you have to use the colors that I'm using? No, use whatever colors you feel like using. But since my people were playing soccer, I wanted to create an outdoor scene. So that is why I did a blue sky and green grass. Now to do my pattern, I'm just doing zigzags. I wanted it to look like grass and to me, zigzags kind of look like grass. Now do whatever patterns that you like, and then once your patterns are complete, you are done. I hope you enjoyed learning about Keith Herring, and thank you for tuning in with me. I would love to see what you create.